Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Tropical Trails RV Resort. This is Rusty78609, and we're just going to go out for a drive and talk about RVing because I have now officially, as of today, been living in my Class C motorhome for two full years. How about that? It is a Thor for Winds 22E on a Chevy chassis. It's 24 feet long and it works for me just perfectly. Why? Because it's got seven foot ceilings inside, it's eight foot wide, and I've got about 180 square feet of living area, a nice bed, a nice kitchen, and a nice, nice bath. And so here we go, where are we gonna go? Just a cruise, guy, and I'll expand on uh, what I was chatting about there, about the Class C motorhome. For one person, me, works great. I've been up full-time RVing for a long time, 25 years and more. And uh, what do I like about it? Well, it's a way of life, that's all. I mean, I, I enjoy life. Uh, I would enjoy life probably uh, living in a shoebox, but that's me. Other people would be miserable. And uh, I've tried other things, and I've tried travel trailers, fifth wheels, and all kind of stuff. They all worked at that time, but now is the time for the Class C, and the reason I didn't get it in the beginning, and I've mentioned this before, is it costs too damn much. Yeah, and, and if I had to come into some money uh, by doing YouTube videos and stuff, uh, I wouldn't have gotten the Class C. But now that I've made a few bucks doing videos on YouTube and sold some property that I acquired and made a little profit, yeah, I bought me a Class C motorhome, and it was delivered December the 9th, 2020, to motorhome specialist dealership in Alvarado, Texas, near Dallas, Texas. They are a major discount retailer of motorhomes. If you are interested in a motorhome, I would suggest that you give them a shout out and tell Buck, one of the salesmen, that Rusty sent you. And why? Because he'll send me a finder's fee. You're going to pay it anyway. Got a guy up here playing with a backhoe in the street. I'm not sure how long they're going to have it blocked, but I'm going to go. I've got a plan, okay? I've got a plan. Uh, it's not a good plan, as you're fixing to see, but it's not a bad plan. Uh, it's this plan right here. I just kind of went around everything, and I'll get over here now, and he'll swing that backhoe around and probably hit my car. But he, no, he won't. But anyway, yeah, we're just out for a cruise. This is Brownsville, Texas. Temperature right now shows to be 76 degrees. They're doing some landscaping here at the uh, RV resort, and uh, we're going. It's green, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun place to be, Brownsville, Texas. Uh, you know, of course, I'm a new guy here, and everything that I check out is new if you lived here and had checked out all of these things 20 or 30 times it wouldn't be so new we're going to go into the sun not for very long it's just a few minutes up here to highway 48 where we're going to turn left and head towards port isabel south padre island no i'm not going to do another south padre island video i've got some coming up next week or in the next couple of days from South Padre Island, Port Isabel and stuff. But this one I'm gonna to post today, why? This is uh, what, December the 8th? Yeah, I'm gonna post it today, why? I just feel like doing it because it's an anniversary sort of of the Class C motorhome. And for those of you that are looking at the RV way of life, you might wanna check out Class C motorhome. They're not bad. Yeah, the quality of the build is as good as any RV you're going to find. Uh, the uh, cabinets are good. Uh, they're they're probably better than any RV I've ever had. Uh, yeah, and, and of course I got the light colored interior, which helps a great deal. It It's not like you're walking into a funeral home, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a light color, and uh, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's, it's white. All the cabinets are white and it kind of brightens up the interior and gives it a little flavor but yeah as far as uh you know 10 miles a gallon about all you can expect out of a class c that's what i get i tow a tow vehicle i tow this ev that i'm driving right here this chevy bolt 2022 2lt and uh 
it weighs about 3,500 pounds and I still get 10 miles per gallon. Without towing the, the EV electric vehicle, I get 10.1. I mean, it's no big change. So yeah, so if you want to tow a vehicle, tow one. Those big engines, <clears throat> the V, you know, the V8s that they have in the Ford and the Chevy now are so big and designed to, you know, with such as much torque that, you know, you can tow just about whatever you want. The towing capacity of my Class C motorhome is 8,000 pounds, which is great. And another thing I like about it, it has a, an inboard uh, freshwater tank so that you're protected from the cold weather. You know, if you actually got into some really freezing weather, uh, you would be okay because the tank is under the uh, cushion of the uh, dining table uh, the opposite, on one side. It's a 50 gallon tank, believe it or not. Fresh water tank, yep, 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 big tank. Comes in handy because uh, sometimes I'll go somewhere and boondock or, go, or if I'm traveling I may do two overnight stops uh, that don't have water or well they would have electric but they wouldn't have water so yeah, it, it's just a it's a fun vehicle I recommend it and now we're cruising kind of kind of into the sun but we'll turn on highway 48 up here but I'm just burning a little daylight here and another topic is what Rusty uh, uh, phones for you for those of you that travel in RVs uh, you can get there, there's two basic uh, phone services in the U.S. There's GSM, which means something, and then there's CDMA, which means something else. GSM is AT&T type companies like T-Mobile, Mint Mobile. Uh, you can get uh, uh, another, uh, they're called MVNOs, I think, or MNBOs. It's MVNOs, I think, whatever it is. But anyway, they're, they're offshoots of these large corporations. They buy uh, cell tower time. And if you carry one phone that is CDMA, like Verizon type, and then one phone that is on uh, uh, GSM, like AT&T stuff, then that way, if you get into an area where your Verizon phone doesn't work, there's a good chance that your your AT&T type phone will work. You see what I mean? So you've got a little uh, little safety measure there. And and I do. I'm doing it now. I'm, I'm going to Mint Mobile. I'm, I'm with Visible. I've got two phones with Visible Wireless. I've got two Pixel 6 phones. Both are unlocked. So I can go anywhere I want to. And so I'm going to have one Pixel 6 with Mint Mobile. Uh, you know, their minimum plan, you pay three months at a time. They have a special going now. You get uh, you get three months free, but you pay for three months, and then you get three months free. Uh, I'm not, i got to find out more about that. But here we go, guys. This is going to get us up on Highway 48. This, go, this would get you to uh, South Padre Island and all points south, including the Gulf of Mexico. Now, if you wanted to go to SpaceX, you would go straight ahead about four miles to Highway 4 and turn left, okay? Not 48, 4. Off to the right is the ship channel, uh, the deep, or the port of Brownsville, I should say. And, uh, yeah, it's a big port, deep port. And I wanted to go there and check out the ships, but I can't find a viewing area to do so. But, so anyway, just moving along here, letting you see what's going on. And later on, you're in next week or sometime this weekend, you'll see Port Isabel and South Padre Island. This will come up today, of course, which is Thursday. And on and on we go, guys. Now, uh, yeah, so yeah, try to, if, if you're if you're a traveler in a motorhome or whatever you're traveling in, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, check out the possibility of using uh, two services, GSM and CDMA, because there are areas in Texas around Mason, Texas, uh, uh, El Dorado, Texas, uh, in that little zone there where there is no uh, Verizon signal at all. If you have a AT&T phone, 
uh, you're going to do okay. But if you have uh, anything else, uh, you ain't going to have poo poo. So yeah, and it makes me feel I've never had an issue, you know, where I had a breakdown and didn't have cell phone service. But uh, it's good to be prepared, like the old Boy Scout saying, you know, be prepared or be repaired. And while I'm taking this drive, I'm going to be looking for a kind of a wildlife viewing area. I want to go, I was going to go to a, like a bird sanctuary, but man, they're kind of in, in uh, difficult places for me to get to. But anyway, moving along here with my dark chocolate almonds and all that stuff, life ain't bad. Would I recommend a Class C motorhome? Sure, sure. You got the money? Yeah. I paid 65000 for my Class C motorhome that was delivered December the 9th, 2020. Again, it's a Thor 4 Winds 22E on a Chevy chassis. It doesn't have any slide outs. I kept it simple. It does not have electric steps. It does not have electric jacks or hydraulic jacks of any kind. Why? Because, you know, the more you add, the more chance you have of, of having a problem. You know, and, you know, do I know people who have had issues? Yeah, people leave comments all the time. You know, they feel like they got a lemon. But, you know, when you add on five pop-outs and, uh, you know, electric jacks, electric steps, and electric everything, and hydraulic this and that, there's a good chance after a while you're you're going to have some issues or problems. So, yeah, that's the ship channel off to the right. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. It's kind of a happy anniversary thing for me on the Class C motorhome. And, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of semi-celebrate, I guess you'd say. I'm having me a Diet Dr. Pepper. Is that a big? I've got about six ounces of Diet Dr. Pepper in here. And uh, we're good to go, man. We're good to go. I thought I was going to be the slowest guy on the highway, but apparently I'm not. Because I'm only going right now, I'm going like 52, and I'm fixing to run over these people in front of me. That's weird, isn't it? So having said that, guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your life. If you're a full-time RVer or thinking about it, uh, you know, give the uh, Class C uh, motorhome a chance, you know. This place over here says now hiring, and they've got a parking lot. They must have 10,000 employees. It says J-O-L-E Enterprise. They're looking for welders, pipe fitters, all kinds of stuff, machinists, pipe welders. So anyway, with that in mind, guys, get you a job down here on the, on the, on the beach or something. Thumbs up. If you're going to RV, check out a Class C. Drink plenty of water, stretch walk stand guard at the door of your mind use the amazon link if you want to fool with it and you know enjoy your life man get out and about you know uh do something you know because that's all i'm doing now is just burning daylight you know i mean i could have sat there in the rv and watched movies and read books and crap but hell there's a whole world out here man there's ships over there that are bigger than my car think about that so adios amigos bye bye